United came to the end of the 1996 season a battered wreck of a side. The Coca-Cola Cup final had ended in humiliation with Leeds played off the park. And Howard Wilkinson acknowledged the need to reconstruct. We've got to have big changes because the sort of season we had last year is not good enough for me. It's not good enough for a club of this side and it's not good enough for the magnificent support that we enjoy. After the club's takeover, there was money to spend and Wilco lost no time in laying some of it out. In the close season, John Lukic returned to Arsenal. Gary Speed made a long-predicted switch to Everton. And Gary McAllister moved to rejoin Gordon Strachan at Coventry City. The bosses' buys were at first acclaimed as astute. In came England international keeper Nigel Martin from Crystal Palace. The need for a striker appeared to be satisfied by Ian Rush, whose scoring abilities were evidenced by 300-plus goals for Liverpool. And always appealing to a Yorkshireman, his was a free transfer. And Rush's experience was balanced by the youth of Lee Bowyer, whose transfer from Charlton to Leeds made him the most expensive teenager in football. But the signing that delighted fans the most was the multi-million pound swoop for Manchester United's Lee Sharp, whose midfield skills were rated more than a replacement for Gary Speed's. I think Lee Sharp's a good player. What has he got that Gary Speed didn't have? Um, well, he played for, um, you know who. <laughs> and, you know, you've got to be good to play for them, haven't you? And he's got skill and stuff which Gary Speed didn't have. The manager had certainly stood by his promise of big changes. And all four new signings were selected for the opening game at the baseball ground. But early promise was soon undermined as United gave away a commanding lead. Now a chance for Lucas Radaby to play the ball out. Sharp. Forward to Boya. In a good run there. And a, not a bad ball into the middle. And Leeds with the perfect start. An own goal by Larson. And United go ahead. Lee Sharp starting the move, prodding it down the line. And Boya's ball in was menacing. And that was just terrible from Larson. 1 0 Leeds. Sturridge, real threat. And well, there's a good strike, but Martin safely in behind it. Daly the man to strike. Nigel Martin never really in trouble there. Bowyer again. Ian Hart runs off him. And Hart hits the shot. Great goal for Leeds. 2 0. And Ian Hart strikes a beauty. Again, Boya with a hand in this, touching it off to Hart. That's a firm strike, never a chance for the keeper. The flick on Sturridge is there. Sturridge, great goal for Derby. He's the danger man, and County are back in it. Nigel Martin will have to be quick there, that's a real problem, and Simpson's done it for Derby. 2-2 straight from the kickoff. And Leeds are right up against it. Again, scorer of that brilliant second. That's a good ball into the box. Flipped on. Headed down by Rush. Boyer's in there. 3 2. And Boyer does the business on his full debut. Five goals. And 
the real thriller. Having committed defensive suicide at the other end, leads right back in it. Ian Rush with the perfect header into Lee Bowyer's path. And that is a real striker's finish from the attacking midfield player. One last push for Derby. Sturridge could be let in there. And Sturridge has done it again. And it's tied up at 3-3. Dean Sturridge levels it. The same generosity on the part of the United defence was displayed three days later in the first home fixture against Sheffield Wednesday. Torrential downpour for this big Yorkshire derby. And Reggie Blinker, the Dutchman in possession. Still Blinker going. The dangerous run, Humphreys picks it up, Humphreys shoots and scores! Leeds fall behind to a strike from Sheffield-born Richie Humphreys. Lee Sharp, great run forward, he's got Rush in the clear, great chance for Rush, he's hit the post. Kelly, lovely knock forward by Kelly, chance of a free kick not given, there's the shot. And for the second time, Leeds rattled the woodwork, this time Bowyer going close. And Sharp's made a good run. Fantastic play by Sharp, brilliant skill by Lee Sharp. Would you believe it? The post denies him. Blinker. It's a lovely ball forward by Blinker. Real chance for Andy Booth here to put it beyond doubt. Andy Booth makes it 2-0. Two wins followed, a goal of stunning quality from Lee Sharp, unselfishly assisted by Rush, gave United a 1-0 win over a Wimbledon side who had yet to find the form which would later take them, amazingly if briefly, to the top of the Premiership. And the same margin, this time courtesy of an equally spectacular strike from youngster Ian Hart, separated Leeds from a Blackburn Rovers side who had yet to reveal the dire characteristics which would see their manager sacked before Christmas. But Ray Harford was not, of course, to be the first managerial casualty. The next fixture brought Manchester United to Elland Road. The awfulness of the actual result makes it seem ridiculous to point out that a win would have put Leeds near the top of the league, with three straight victories behind them, including back-to-back -back defeats of the last two Premiership champions. Wilkinson's position then would have been unassailable. As it was, he was fired on Monday, and with a haste some described as indecent, George Graham was appointed before the week was out. But fans' reaction was almost entirely positive and players too soon adjusted. George Graham's come in and uh, everybody's responded to him and uh, we, we can see that what, what he wants to do. I think it was different with Howard Wilkinson. You know, he's similar to Howard Wilkinson. But uh, I think, you know, uh, with George, he's um, one of them, like he was at Arsenal, he got the, the defence there first and the, you had to beat Arsenal. I mean, George has come in and, and you know, he's told us how he wants us to play and... Uh, I'm sure we're going to be spending a lot of time on the, on the training pitch until we can achieve that. As for George Graham, he was clearly delighted to be back in the job he loves, managing a football club. When I sort of turned to the game, I wanted to make sure it was going to be a big club uh, in the Premiership. Because I sort of, when I left the game, I was with one of the biggest clubs in the game and being successful. So I wanted to return at that level. And... Uh, Leeds, when I was a player, you know, in the, the late 60s and early 70s, they were one of the great sides. Uh, so I knew what it was like to play against the Leeds team that were up there with the Giants. Howard actually uh, won the championship, so I knew what it was like as a manager to come to Leeds and Elland Road. It was, a, it was a very difficult place to come to. So I've seen the success here, here over the years, both as a player and a manager, and uh, I thought if I can make Leeds a success, you know, they were the big boys again, and that was really the challenge. But there was no dream start for the new manager. Instead, three league defeats and a League Cup draw in which two goals were conceded to lowly Darlington helped convince George Graham that his priority must be to shore up United's troublesome defence. Flipped on by Dion Dublin. Noel Whelan, part of the Coventry attack today against his old club. And that could be a little short for the keeper, but he does get there. Clear. Mark 
Hately, the man on loan, with the job of scoring the goals and leading the forward line for Leeds. And could be an early chance for him here. It's Rush who puts the ball on his chest and a beautiful curler and a great goal from Cousins. Really took it well. Ian Rush on the chest, played him in. And the finish was exquisite. Good ball in played there. The close controls excellent from Ian Rush. Great awareness. And with the outside of his boot, Cousins has scored. Great goal. 1 0. Solarco for Coventry. Barmer tracking him, but Solarco's hit the shot and scored. John Solarco with the equaliser. It's 1 1. And Gary McAllister, the first to salute him. Some work to do for George Graham in this match yet. Flicked on again. Whelan's in there. Noel Whelan has scored against his former club and Coventry lead 2-1. Sharp, prodded ball forward. Wallace, great finish, 1-0 lead. Good flick by Rush. Lee Sharp with the ball through, and that's an excellent goal from Rod Wallace. Sharp. Lee Sharp again, pulling the strings. Good drop for Wallace again, it's a good strike. Good save by the keeper. Certainly got his shooting boots on tonight, Wallace. Darlington corner, taken short. Interesting routine, and Martin punches it away. Back in again, danger in there. And that's the equaliser. It's 1-1. Kelly's ball forward. Good touch by Rush, good strike by Wallace, great goal. Super finish from a near impossible angle. And Rod Wallace gets his second of the night, and he won't score many better than that. Coming right over his shoulder, connected with it a treat, and the precision was fantastic. 2-1 leads. Sharp. Curling beautifully, headed on and rushes in there, Rush scores, but it won't count. He hasn't noticed yet, but the flag's up. And the linesman's disallowed it. Oh, you're unfortunate there. Oh, and this is a danger from Darlington, they must score. 2-2. Cousins with the throw, rushes in there, Sharp bobbling around in there, real scramble, Weather will get to touch, Sharp, Newcastle blast it clear just, David O'Leary spurred on by that early success, Palmer concedes a free kick there, just a little late in the tackle, I think the referee has sent him off. Could be for something that he said. Carlton Palmer given a red card. Beresford. Beardsley. The ball forward for Rob Lee. Shearer's there. Alan Shearer. 
He's done it again for Newcastle. Deadly from that range, Alan Shearer. Julian Watts has run past that one. Sharp's in there, Sharp. Good stop by Keller. Got his hand down well on that. Good challenge by Lennon. Good player is Lennon. And this is a good run by Neil Lennon. Good ball across the face of goal. And Heskey scores. George Graham's first victory in charge came against Nottingham Forest. Crossley's goal kick. Good header by Radovic. Dominant header. Flicked on as well, and here's Ian Rush. Good run by Wallace. Rush has spotted him. That's good presence of mind. Wallace in a challenge with Pierce. And the England defender just did enough to stop Rod Wallace's route to goal. Forest corner. Headed down. Flicked on and danger in there. Great stop from Nigel Martin to deny Jason Lee. Got some power behind the header and Martin was in behind it well. Sharp. Good strike. Always curling wide. Some power into that one, Lee Sharp. <laughs> Kelly's ball forward. Hately with the flick on, and Wallace is there. <laughs> Super strike from Rod Wallace. Hately with a deft little touch on to open the door and Rod Wallace shoots and scores. Good ball chips up there by Kelly. Hately with a perfect little touch and that's a great finish. Got a real chance here and won one on one with the keeper. Let off for Leeds. Usually very good from that range, especially on his left side. Good defending by Pierce. How about Williams? Showing too much of that to both men and that's a real good challenge and it's more danger for Leeds and Wallace is in there at the far post Wallace round Crossley Wallace he's finished it Good ball whipped across. Hately couldn't make contact, but there was Wallace, rounded crossly, and just blasted it into the empty net. Two from Wallace, and Leeds are victorious. George Graham happy with that. 2 0 victory. Clinical and excellent finishing from that man. You've won today, but do you think there's a lot of work to do here? Oh yeah, I mean that, that, that's not going to fool me, it's not going to fool the, the players, it's not even going to fool the fans, and I would say to the fans, you know, there's a lot of hard work got to be done here, hopefully we'll pick up points along the way, hopefully we'll maybe um, get the injuries back, hopefully we might have a new signings, but it's not going to happen overnight. Be patient, get behind us, and I can, uh, I can assure them they're going to get commitment here. And his pessimism was underlined by the next game which Graham described as the worst performance since he took charge. Dispossessed by Wright. And that pushes it forward. This is Sasha Churchich. Good little touch there from Churchich. It's 
a good break. Johnson squares it for York. Dangerous move. Lovely goal from Villa. Sweeping move from end to end. Dwight York in excellent form for Aston Villa. It's picked out Johnson. Johnson first time. 2 0. Tommy Johnson with it. In the Coca-Cola Cup, United faced a tricky trip to Darlington, needing to win to progress through to the third round. It's a goal, and it's Gray, is it? He's got it. Wallace getting congratulations as well. It's Wallace who got the touch, Gray challenged. Palmer lifting it well forward, looking for Sharp. Sharp got there, but couldn't direct it goalwards. Falls for Hart, and he scored! Straight through the keeper. That's 2 0. Ian Hart celebrates that one. The third round saw a repeat of the previous season's final, with Leeds paired at home to Aston Villa. But Villa get men round the ball when danger threatens very, very quickly. And break dangerously. York. Churchich is going to be outside here if he's. Doesn't get back, he has now. Clumsy ball by Nelson. Here's Palmer. And Wallace onto it. Rush on the far post. Sharp is there as well. Sharp! What a finish from Lee Sharp. He's got a left foot of quality. And he showed it there. But I honestly thought Bosnich was going to come for this as the ball was played through Allen. It travelled an awful, awful long way. Watch this. I'm thinking, is the goalkeeper going to come? He goes back again. Great quality. Look at the way Wallace doesn't panic. And when he just opens himself up, Lee Sharp, there was never a thought of him taking this on his right foot. He just opens his body out here and slots it quite beautifully with his left foot. High into the roof of the net. He's waited a while for it, George Graham. Yeah. Leeds United are ahead against the Coca-Cola Cup holders, Aston Villa. York going forward for them. Urgency is introduced into Villa's play now. In a manner, they were coasting before that. They're certainly not now. It's not time for panic, but it's time to pick it up a gear. Churchich. He's done well, Churchich. Johnson and York are post. It almost comes to Taylor in hand. Taylor has equalised within 90 seconds of Leeds going a goal behind. A uh, goal in front, Villa are back. Churchich in support, Draper is arriving, York goes alone. That has to be a penalty and is. But Dwight York with a chance here to make it 2-1. Not a problem. Much media attention surrounded George Graham's return to Highbury with his new club, but the game didn't live up to the hype as United were beaten 3-0. Vieira, good pace and endurance, and it's fine footwork too from Vieira. He squared it for Dixon. Lead struck with a hammer blow from Lee Dixon. Burkamp could be in, Burkamp's done it. Nigel Martin beaten for the second time. Burkamp not offside, he squared it. Neil Wright's there. 3-0. A rare league victory followed, only the fourth of the season. 3-0 at home to Sunderland. Offside given against Russell. And here's Gary Kelly. One ball forward. Rush makes something of it, and here's Wallace. Rob Wallace. Good ball in. Fighting header by Ford. Great goal. Took the chance well. And picked out the far corner.
Wallace with a pinpoint ball in. And Ford's header was unstoppable. Perez didn't get near it. There's a break on here. Good defending, and Martin will get there. Good skill by Radovi, too. Nice little one two, then puts his foot through it. Wallace flicks it on. Here's Brian Dean. Dean into the penalty area. Dean still going. Perez stops him. Sharp. He's found the gap. Lee Sharp into the top corner. And Leeds take a 2 0 advantage. So much credit to Brian Dean. Good forward play. Perez came out to him, and from there, with two defenders on the line, Sharp picked out the top corner. Comes the long throw. Dean, the target, doesn't reach him. Headed back towards Brian Dean. Great finish. Acrobatics from Brian Dean for the third goal. And that was a real corker. Good throw from Kelly. Didn't reach Dean there, but as it was headed back in, that's a super finish. 3-0. possession good touch from Lee Sharp trying to put the icing on the cake here Leeds well it's not a bad strike but Perez gets down to make the stop worth a dig from there Ian Rush Perez a good shot stopper and that's it Leeds never in trouble, coasting to victory. Dean with the winner, 3-0. A 2-0 defeat against Liverpool came next, while at Southampton, two late goals from Gary Kelly and Lee Sharp earned Leeds their second away win in the Premiership. Sharp with the throw. He's picked out Dean. Time and space for Dean to turn and deliver the cross. And Kelly's in there. And that's a blistering finish from Gary Kelly. A Kelly specialty has put Leeds ahead. Dean must not have believed the time and space he had from there. Gary Kelly beats Chris Woods, 1-0. Good challenge. Again, Radaby defends well. Here's Rush. Dean. Dean, that's good, strong running. Brian Dean. Perfect pass for Lee Sharp, real chance here, Sharp, excellent finish. Lee Sharp in the last minute seals the victory. Class play from Brian Dean, took it from the halfway line, lovely chip there. Excellent through pass and Sharp's finish was never in doubt. The beginning of December saw what most agree was United's best game of the season, a 2-0 victory over Chelsea. Martin Palmer, who uh, can't afford another booking in terms of uh, suspension. In danger of 
incurring the wrath of the referee and now Chelsea have another player down so Dennis Wise now comes Godos Dean is round him and Brian Dean has given Leeds United the lead in the eighth minute well what a magnificent finish Martin but I would love to see it again offside or not Chelsea are furious they're over at the linesman but I tell you take nothing away from Brian Dean it's a magnificent finish there's the run it's very very tight but what a finish and he won for honesty an awful lot of players might have got the ground under that challenge didn't even enter Dean's head he wanted to get round the keeper and slot a beautiful goal not an easy angle but look at the way he picks the spot that's a great finish Well, just the early lift that Leeds United needed. Weatherall. A very nimbly taken goal. Here's Sharp. Might be more pickings here. Oh, Ian Rush. Ian Rush has scored his first goal for Leeds United. It's taken him into his 16th game. And so typical of Rush through the years, Martin. This is a Predators goal. But look at Sharp. Sharp's up there, getting on the end of a cross from Gary Kelly. And when the ball dropped loose, how often have we seen that from Ian Rush? A prod with the right foot, but what an effective one. Grodas got a little bit on it, but could do nothing to stop it. What a great couple of minutes for the home side. Well, Chelsea's world is crashing apart here. Two goals in the opening ten minutes. Well, you talk about strikers, Martin, scoring goals. I mean, I would guess that must be the first time that Leeds' front two have scored in one game. Certainly a league match this season. You often talk about getting your strikers. If you can both get a goal in a game, what a great shot in the arm that is. And it's happened all within the opening ten minutes of the match. Rush. Forward for Dean. Brian Dean. Brodas hasn't got it. Rush is there. Brodas blocked it. Dean. Bowyer going in. Chelsea have survived. Forward. Lee Sharp moving down the left. He wants to play for Leeds in a more attacking vein, but the team's needs come first. Dean. And Sharp's cross. Only Hughes to really try and find. Eddie Newton is uh, making a successful comeback from a broken leg. Oh, he rushes in the chase. Grodos decided to back off. Rush looks to chip in. Brilliant work from both striker and from the man who stopped him scoring. Ah, that was great football. Credit for unsettling Chelsea went to United's much improved defence. Three nil-nil draws against Middlesbrough, Spurs and Everton lengthened the run of clean sheets to five. And George Graham's success in tightening up at the back was being noted on all sides. But still, he wasn't satisfied. Graham's first transfer move was to try to bring in John Scales. But when Scales decided to go to Spurs instead, he swiftly moved to Oldham to acquire Gunnar Haller. Of course, every week uh, we're working on the defence and uh, I think he wants to get that right first and then he can work on the going forward after that. But uh, of course, he, he wants to get the defence right first. And of course we've done that, we got a few clean sheets, so I think it's, it's working fairly, fairly well. It was Gary McAllister's Coventry who ended Leeds' undefeated run on Boxing Day. Gunnar Hallow with the throw, Dean with a touch. Good harrying by Rush, Dean's got a chance, Dean shoots! Magical stuff from Brian Dean. Perfect start for Leeds. And an outstanding finish from Dean. Good credit to Rush there for winning the ball. Dean's finish was rising when it hit the roof of the net. Huckabee, but real genuine pace when he gets into a stride, Darren Huckabee, 1-1. Solanko, Thomas 
Sonako. He's forced a corner. Not a harsh decision. Sonako's corner. Oh, it's headed in. And the goal stands for Dion Dublin. Leeds go behind. Palmer robbed of possession. Here's Huckabee again. Inside Palmer is tackled. Penalty given. Not too much option for the referee. And Gary McAllister will be the man against his old club. McAllister now for Coventry against Martin. He scored. And it's 3-1. Defeats at Manchester United and Newcastle, 1-0 and 3-0 respectively, made it a miserable Christmas for United fans. Improvement came at home to Leicester City. Brian Dean squeezed over a good cross there. Headed back across the face of goal, real chance, Ian Rush. So unfortunate. He struck it well. The Leicester defender couldn't get out of the way. Boya. Molinar got up well. But it's just wide. Dean's flick. Rush linking play. Brian Dean again. He'll send this one out wide. It's a good ball. It's a fine ball in as well, and it's almost in, but Keller's height just saved him at the death. Tony Dorigo, it's an awkward ball to judge for the keeper, just did enough. Chance here for Dorigo again, far post ball, Dean's up there, Dean heads it down, real danger! Goal for Boya. He's got a happy knack of arriving in the box when it counts. And his timing there was impeccable. Tony DiRigo's second dangerous cross. Dean. Picked out Boyer a tree, and from there, there was no stopping him. Boyer again to Brian Dean. Dean's far post ball was problematic for the defence, and Rush is in there, and Ian Rush has made it number two. And he deserves it, Ian Rush. His work rate's unquestionable. And there, it was the rush of old, in the right place at the right time. And it was a brave header, 2-0. Dean, so strong. Links it to Molinar. Molinar back to Dean again. Good build-up play. There's Dean again. Dean strikes just wide. Wallace unhappy with him, quite rightly so. Had Dean pulled it back, it was a near certain goal. But I suppose from there he's just got one thought in his mind. That's an excellent pass through, Wallace with a chance, Rod Wallace, good stop by Keller, very good save by the keeper. Rush from the resulting cross, headed down, Bowie is there, that's gone wide. The Americans saved his team there though, Rod Wallace just perhaps ran it a touch too far there, and the keeper made a fine save.
Rush flicking it down. Dorigo's going to hit one from there. Dean touches it on. Rush, he scored again. Ian Rush is second of the match. And leads full value for a three goal cushion. And Nigel Martin with barely a shot to save. Rush with his second of the match, 3 0. The game saw the debut of Graham's second signing, Dutchman Robert Molinar, a towering defender who soon earned himself the nickname Terminator. The size uh, of, of uh, my body had uh, a bit of uh, an effect on people and uh, I'm quite, quite heavy for a football player, I must say, so uh, that has a lot of impact maybe. But uh, then again, uh, I think I like to be known about also about uh, how I play football uh, with the ball and not only uh, uh, defensive uh, playing uh, on the man or whatever. And there was more good news from the next league game at Upton Park with three points and another clean sheet. Ball headed clear by Kelly to Dix. Tremendous effort by Julian Dix. Well, there are few people who hit the ball more sweetly with a left foot than Julian Dix. The ball presented to Dean meantime at the other end, and a chance here for Leeds. Well, he just snatched at it when a bit of composure might have paid dividends. Well, he had the chance, didn't he, to slip in Rush in. It's this moment now when Rush he makes a good run. Now he could have slipped it to him. He elects to go by himself on his left foot. Dean wins another header. Bowyer can't get there. Williamson did. Dean again. And back it comes once more to the Leeds man who's hauled down by Bilic. Free kick to Leeds. With a dangerous position here. Certainly had his hands all over him. of Gary Kelly fancies this, doesn't it? And Kelly it is! Oh! That is magnificent! And that's a collector's item as well from Gary Kelly. Only the second goal he's ever scored for Leeds United in over 160 games. Well, he takes McCloskey by surprise, he kicks it early, he hits the crossbar, hits McCloskey, goes back into the net. It would have been a good fortune, but I think he's deserved from Gary Kelly. It's a great execution, gets it up and down quickly. But Klosk was unfortunate. Well, isn't Lovely that just how it works out as well when you're down near the bottom? On another occasion, it might have hit the goalkeeper and gone out. This time it hits the goalkeeper and goes in. Julian Dix for them, tried to play it inside the defenders. Molinar read the threat. Dix again. And he drove that one in towards Breaker. It was a brave header clear by Radibi. Dean, clever play by him. Palmer has got forward. Rushes in the penalty area as well. Brilliant from Dean. Carl Palmer going in. It comes out to Kelly. Ooh. Got the taste for goals now. Boya! It's 2 0 for Leeds United. And it could be curtains for West Ham, you feel. Well, that was fantastic play in a wide area from Brian Dean. Completely deceived. Reaper beats him for the second time onto his left foot. Palmer doesn't really attack this. This is a good chance, this. He misses it completely. Comes back to Boyer. Great shot in off the post. Major problems now for West Ham. Lee Boyer's third goal of the season for Leeds United. And it's taken them a very important step towards three points, which will lift them. We remind you, level on points, and he knows it.
with Everton and Spurs in the right half of the table. Another run of clean sheets was beginning, which, with nil-nil results against Derby and Arsenal in the league, would eventually reach five. But attention was now focusing on the FA Cup. United opened their campaign at Selhurst Park with a two-all draw. The defenders missed it. Dean's in there, Dean! Perfect start for Leeds. And a real opportunist finish from Brian Dean. Hopkin couldn't clear it. Dean's first touch set up his second, which was a blistering strike. 1 0. Shipperly surely pulling Radaby all over the place. Referee saw nothing wrong. Viet helps it wide. In for the penalty box there, look to be hands from Dyer. Referee's given a penalty. Roger Dilks points to the spot. Well, if anything, it looks to me like Dyer handles it. Certainly not Paul Beasley. But Nigel Martin has to face a penalty against his old team. Dyer scores. 1-1, hotly disputed. Wallace picks out Dean. Dean forced wide, pulls it back in there. Danger and a goal. Anderson scores through his own net to put Leeds ahead. Wallace and Dean linked up really well. The cross came in and Anderson... Well, it's a great finish, but what was he thinking about? Shipley's cross. Viet's up there and Viet scores! Carl Viet. And again there's... Dyer in the penalty box, and the referee's given another spot kick. His second of the match. And another penalty decision that looked harsh, to say the least. Nigel Martin, for the second time, has to face Bruce Dyer. The other end of the ground, this one. He's already scored one. Dyer... Oh, Martin, great save, and he's missed the rebound. Brilliant stop from Nigel Martin. He keeps Leeds in the cup. The replay followed the trip to West Ham, and it was Rod Wallace's solitary goal that saw United through to the fourth round. Kelly's crossing. Hopkin fails to clear. Chance for Jackson. Good strike. Keeper well in behind it. Palmer. Wallace. Try link up with Dean. Rushes in there. Rush with a chance. He skied it. And spooned it over the bar. Dorigo. Chance to cross. Dean's up there. Never got the power in it to beat the keeper, but he's on target. Radaby all the way back to Nigel Martin. Good clearance by Martin, Dean with the flick. Wallace tackling well now Kelly and Wallace again it's a good turn by Rod Wallace good strike fantastic goal from Rod Wallace a goal of genuine class puts Leeds on their way Kelly with a lovely little back heel. Wallace to the edge of the box, fakes the shoot, good turn. And 
puts it in the top corner. The draw took United to Arsenal immediately after the Gunners' goalless visit to Elland Road in the league. And again, it was Wallace who did the business. And Rod Wallace is in. And Rod Wallace has hit the post and has scored at the second attempt. And Leeds lead after 11 minutes. What a really scrappy goal, this one. Rod Wallace got clear and flicked it past Seaman and it hit the post and came out and Wallace hooked it in. 1-0 leads. Paul Merton. And he hit that one very, very sweetly indeed. Hughes. Across the face to go. Right! Oh, fine save from Martin. Well, that looked odds on a goal in running. And when the cross came in, Ian Wright was the man in the centre. It was a good header, but it was a brilliant save by Martin. And here's Vieira. And here's Ian Wright. Wright, great save. And it was possible to have a handball there, maybe. Wright again. Merson, great save from Martin once again from Paul Merson. Well, outstanding goalkeeping from Nigel Martin. The right went through, and that was initially a very good save. And then right went down, and Merson, what a save that was. With most of the big-name clubs out of the running by this stage, hopes were high of cup success as United faced Portsmouth in the fifth round. But complacency can be a deadly disease. Paul Hall could get on the end of that, but Nigel Martin stops his route to goal. Having an excellent season, Martin. Throw in for Fitzroy Simpson. Svensson touches it down. Bradbury's cross and McLaughlin's forward. And leads her behind to a goal from Alan McLaughlin. Molinar pumps it forward. Dean could strike from there. Danger. Wallace touched wide. Andy Orford just did enough. The Portsmouth captain just got in the way there. Another corner from Fitzroy Simpson, headed down there, looked like handball, and it's been given. Penalty to Portsmouth, leads 1-0 down, and they could go two down here. Carlton Palmer doesn't like it, but as the header came in there, that's where the handball was given against. Fitzroy Simpson to take it. Oh, Martin saved it. Great save. And it's his second penalty save in this FA Cup run and could yet prove to be vital. And it was a good one too. Wallace to Boya. Boya just before half-time has scored. Really took it in his stride, underneath the keeper. And leads a back level. Wallace poking it through, and Bowyer's finish was excellent. David Hillier. Well, that's an excellent pass to Svensson. Svensson cuts inside Molinar. Matches Svensson. It's a great goal, you have to say that. And Leeds go 2-1 down. 
Took it well. Crashed it into the back of the net. Simpson. Forward to Svensson for a second time. Svensson with the ball into the middle and Bradbury's there. Number three. And Leeds' cup run surely now is approaching its conclusion. Bradbury underneath Martin for a two-goal cushion. Comes across and Bowyer's there, and Bowyer scores. And give Leeds a glimmer of hope. But it looks like too little, too late. Lee Bowyer's second of the match, a well-placed header. Bradbury makes another break forward, dying stages of the match. And it's all over. Leeds are out of the FA Cup. So United were left to concentrate on the lead. 25 games had yielded 30 points and a mid-table position which rather flattered. United were 20 points behind the leaders, but only eight above the relegation zone. Safety would continue to be the priority. And the need for caution was emphasised by a 4-0 thrashing at Liverpool when the league programme resumed. But now came United's best run of the season, starting with a 1-0 victory at Sunderland. Tony Yeboah started his second game of the season, but proved largely ineffective and lacking in match sharpness. And Lee Sharp picks up the play. Good ball down the line for Dean. Sharp's already up there. Sharp right-footed, curling. Just not close enough. Sharp, excellent first-time ball, Dean. Now Yeboah. Tony Yeboah trying to thread it back to Brian Dean. Here's Ian Rush. Oh, great strike. And a good stop from Perez. Rush to Boya. And now Yeboah, real chance here for Leeds. Tony Yeboah just got it stuck under his feet. Usually from there, the sort of chance that he would swallow, but just a bit rusty, Tony Yeboah. but he's managed to clear it. Dean flicking it on for Boya. Boya making the break, Lee Boya. Super finish underneath the keeper. And Boya puts Leeds ahead. Dean just threading it through with a header. And Boya nutmegs the goalkeeper. Beauty. Yeboah wide to rush. Ian Rush up to the far post. Perez came for it and didn't gather it. Challenge by Radaby. And there's a good strike by Yeboah. And that was unfortunate. Really got hold of that one from long range, dipping viciously at the end, but crashed against the bar. West Ham were the next victims of United's now almost watertight defence. A win courtesy of an easy goal for Lee Sharp. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good vision. Yeboah's there. Can you believe it? Just dragged and pulled it wide. Things not running for him at the moment, Tony Yeboah. 
took it in his stride, made a good connection. Just pulled it a yard too far. Leeds can't really get rid. John Moncur. Well, that's a bad ball from West Ham. So a chance for Leeds to break now with Sharp. Holds up play nicely. And that's clipped towards Dean, and Dean could get in there. Dick's in a real tangle. Sharp's going to score. 1 0. Brian Dean created the opening for him, and Lee Sharp accepted the gift. Dix and McClosco leaving it for each other. Dean got his foot on it. And Sharp rolled it into the empty net. The same sort of thing happened against Sunderland here a few months back. Uh, Brian Dean sort of, sort of goes in with a keeper. Uh, and I just felt that it was going to pop out somewhere, and look, luckily for me it did. And against Everton, it was Molinar who delivered a third successive 1-0 victory with his first goal for the club. Sharp, good break by Sharp, pulls it for Boya, Boya shoots. Still in there, oh, it's gone wide. Agony for Yeboah. From one yard, you put your mortgage on him. Boya's shot, touched on there. And that's just unfathomable. Phelan making a break, Phelan still going, Terry Phelan, good stop by Martin, and away by Molinar. Duncan Ferguson and Molinar sticks very close to him, and that's good refereeing not to give a free kick there. Sharp. Excellent control by Lee Sharp. Bowyer screaming for it. Sharp into the middle. And nobody gets the touch. Excellent ball by Rush, punching it down the line. Here's Palmer. Palmer to the far post and behind for a corner. Boya towards the penalty spot. Molinar with the jump and Molinar breaks the deadlock for Leeds. Defended well in this match as well, and he's come up with a decisive goal. Boya's corner didn't have much pace on it, but it did after it left the head of Molinar. Nine very welcome points, and yet more plaudits for United keeper Nigel Martin, who achieved yet another clean sheet. I think he's the perfect build for the job in the way that he's not too big. You know, you all see six goalkeepers are six foot four and six foot five. That's not ri that's not right. He's only about six foot one, six foot two. He's got a great physique on him. He's got great spring and his his ability to get across his goal. He's got great feet. He hasn't got clumsy feet like big lads have. He has got feet of a small man for being six foot two. Strong as an ox. Makes great decisions. Very very dedicated. To be perfectly honest with you. It's a pleasure to work with because he's like working with myself as a young man.
but the absence of firepower in the lead side was apparent against relegation threatened Southampton. The home game offered little in the way of entertainment, and despite the presence of Rush, Dean and Yeboah, it was left to Gunnar Haller to make the best chance of the game. Any notion that Tony Yeboah might ever again provide the so obviously lacking spark surely had to be dismissed after a petulant display at White Hart Lane. A 1-0 defeat leads first loss in four matches. Comes the cross to the far post, Sheringham heads it down, Anderton's there! Darren Anderton has scored for Tottenham. Yeboah was notably absent from the side which faced Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. Leeds taking a point from a two-all draw in the Yorkshire derby. Kelly sneaks it forward. Well, that's a nice link up with Dean. Brian Dean, good through ball, danger there. And Kenneth Bressman, fortunate. There wasn't any power in that because he got his angles all wrong. Sharp to Dorigo. Tony Dorigo touches it on for Wallace. Wallace's shot. Pressman gets in behind it. Jump by Stefanovic there, the Yugoslav defender for Wednesday, but here's Rush. Now Sharp. Lee Sharp makes a break, Sharp shoots and scores. 1-0 to Leeds. And a really good goal. Rush for Boya, sit up to Sharp. Sharp burst to the edge of the area and his left-footed shot was too hot to handle. Sharp to the edge of the box and it's a great goal, 1-0. Brian Dean, now Wallace and Boyer into the area, it's good play by Leeds this. Rush still keeps possession. Dean's there. Could have been two. And Brian Dean knows it. Carboni, the Italian, gets a corner for Wednesday. Benito Carbone. Good looking corner. Hurst with a header. And it's 1 1. David Hurst with the goal. Dean beats Walker in the air, all ends up. Boya to the edge of the penalty box. Wallace, Wallace still going, and that's in. 2-1. And it's a real blood and thunder Yorkshire derby, this. his man there and wrong footing Kevin Pressman completely Boyer did the running Wallace picked it up and there it is it goes in off the legs of Pressman 2-1 leads Good confident passing by Leeds here's Rush what a bad effort that too far away, just over that crossbar. Wallace again, Sharp continues his run. Lovely back heel, chance here, Wallace, good stop by Pressman. It's a good save, could so easily have been number three. Excellent link up, Sharp's back heel took three defenders totally out of the play.
Briscoe. Back to Carbone. Lovely play by Carbone. He's picked up Booth. And that's 2-2. Two -two. And Andy Booth gets his second this season against Leeds. Wallace of 8 one challenge. Now Radovi. Good pass for Dorigo. Second chance for Dorigo. He's going to have a dig. It's deflected just wide. Hurst, scorer of Wednesday's first, is tackled. Hooked away by Collins, but that's it. All over the final whistle, and the Yorkshire derby ends at 2 2. Sadly, that was about it for entertainment. United would score only two more goals in the last half dozen games of the season, with no fewer than five draws. Dorigo. Dean wants it played in early. He's in a good position on the far post and heads it back into danger. And Wallace gets a touch. Well, my first thoughts were, Alan, that uh, Wallace didn't get a touch. I thought it was Henning Berg who almost scored his own goal. Good ball there from Dean for Wallace. Support arriving. Sharp getting forward. Bowyer is with him as well. Here he is. That took a deflection. And the bounce almost caused the problem for Flowers. Just shows you how hard this pitch is. Dean doing well just to keep that one in and link up with Dorigo. Ali Boya. Useful ball. Well, that's a tremendous effort by a man who doesn't very often appear on the goal-scoring sheets. Next for Leeds came a 2-0 defeat at Wimbledon. Kimball's corner. Flicked on dangerously and a good stop by Nigel Martin. Weatherall, is that a push by Holdsworth? Referee saw nothing wrong. And Holdsworth scored for Wimbledon. Leeds trail. Brian Dean. And that could open up for Lee Sharp. And he's hit it first time and he wasn't too far away. Lee Sharp, the closest Leeds have come to scoring. Dorigo's throw. Good play by Wallace. Not a bad ball aimed at Brian Dean. He's up there and he beat the keeper. And Dean just couldn't keep the header down. Lovely through ball by Boyer, that was perfect timing. Sharp for Leeds, the best chance of the match. It's wide. Holdsworth. Not a bad ball to Hardley. Hardley's cross headed by Castledine. Great save by Martin. But he can't stop the second one. A one-all draw at the city ground ensured it would be our last visit there for a Premier League fixture for some time. Not a bad break there. The ball into the penalty box, headed away by Sharp. Drops to Gemmel. Gemmel picks up Van Hoydonk. He scored for Forrest. There's no flag, it'll count. And Pierre Van Hoydonk's done it. And Dean, good challenge there to pick up Lilly. Dean strong running into the penalty area. Cooper gets the boot in, but he's still got possession, Brian Dean. First time ball by Sharp. Not a bad turn, and this could be Bowyer's chance. Bowyer shoots straight at the keeper. Little. One two with Van Hoydonk. First time touch for Roy. That's a lovely little turn. Brian Roy, some exquisite talent here. Oh, brilliant stop by Martin. Reflex save from the Leeds keeper to deny Brian Roy what would have been a beauty. Gorgeous little turn there. Onto his left side. Struck the shot well, and that's an excellent save. Radovi. Dorigo. That's Lilly linking play to Palmer. 
Palmer puts the cross in. Oh, it's problems off the post and Dean will score. 1-1. And Brian Dean claims the equaliser. Carlton Palmer with a freak ball in. Was almost deflected in to the forest net by their own player. Looked to be a wicked ball, but they couldn't deal with it. It hit the post, it would have gone in, but Dean touched it home anyway. Kelly. Good ball down the flank to pick out Dean. Been watched closely, but his strength has got him to the goal line. Full back, a lovely cross. Lily just couldn't get the foot in. Radaby might well do. It's charged down by Little. Now Tony Dorigo, he can hit them. Lily has got a chance to make it two, but it won't count. David Ellery disallows it. It remains 1 1. Scoreless games with Aston Villa and Chelsea took us up to the last match of the season at home to Middlesbrough. The visitors fighting for their Premiership lives. Janino. Now there's the new lead centre back, Gary Kelly, coming out and winning the ball crisply. Lilly chasing with plenty of pace and enthusiasm. He's got the better of Blackmore. Still Lilly and Pearson is back to save Blackmore's blushes and stop Middlesbrough going behind. Well, he didn't look favourite when he set it. Oh, dear. Oh. And some blushes of his own for the captain. That's the first real piece of goal mouth action that's got anyone off the seat. He really didn't look favourite. You look at the start Clayton Blackmore's got on him. He shows good pace and he's a little unlucky. Ball goes a lot behind him, he thinks. He's only just got to hook it and hit the target. But no, Pearson and Fest have both got back on the line. And this is Stamp. And that's a good try! And Nigel Martin, the goalkeeper, very much in form. He's had a terrific season. The supporters player of the year here at Leeds. Great hand. it over. Straight above him helps, of course. You wouldn't expect Martin to be beaten with that ball straight ahead. Stamp won it many better than this, though. It's a lovely strike, sweet, accurate. Driving to head it away. Lilly's flick on, and Bowyer can chase this to some profit, perhaps for Leeds United. Others arriving. Up to Fleming, dispossessing. And then uh, giving it straight to Radovic. And Brian Dean, without a Middlesbrough player, but within 20 yards of it. Three for Leeds in the middle. Oh, wow. And that's a Bowyer. Pulled it down and wanted to place it in the corner and instead put it wide. That's a hopeless header from Musto, not very well at all. You watch where he heads this. You put it out for a corner, you do anything, but you don't drop it down to the penalty spot right there. I mean, that's a glorious chance for Boye. Dean Fester's in trouble, Roberts did well, but it comes for Rush. And then Boya, and then Lilly. Flag is up. Offside. It doesn't count. Lilly thinks he's got his first goal in the Premiership. And he's still celebrating, but Alan Wilkie spotted the flag raised by Alan Sheffield. I tell you, Roberts does ever so well. Not just there, but this save from Rush. He's quickly up. That's a great block. But you can see there the decision's an absolutely spot on one. Headed by Kelly. Not trying to find Janino. It breaks for Gunnar Haller. Lilly. There's Kinder chasing the back. Forward from Weatherall. Been doing enough to make sure the ball got on to Wallace. Oh. Wallace with the cross. Brian Dean is free. It's a goal for Leeds United, and that might spell the end for Middlesbrough. Brian Dean's header. Brian Robson has to take it on the chin. And they are all connected with Middlesbrough, are shattered by that. Well, no one really presses Rodney Wallace at all. They don't get close to him, they give him time to put the cross in. That's a fine header from Dean. 
No great pace on the ball. He's got to do it all on his own, Brian Dean. He gets good power and he gets brilliant accuracy. Well, Middlesbrough needed one. They've struggled to make an imprint in that respect. Now they need two. Dorigo. This is Rodney Wallace. Being trying to get there again. Lily might. Right a bit. Well uh, held by Ben Roberts. Out of the time here. Completing Blackmore. And he dropped it down to the edge of the box. Now they're saying necessity is the mother of invention. It's footballing necessity for Middlesbrough. Here is the invention, perhaps. Yes! From Janinho. Well, There's still a chance. It took a wicked deflection this, Martin. I think we'll find to beat Nigel Martin. It's no surprise that it's Janinho who gets him back in. I thought he was a couple of yards offside. He certainly looked at it. As he tucks inside there, I think it flicks off Haller. And it's just enough to take it wide of Martin and into the corner. There's a touch off the toe. It's a crucial touch. You watch this. There's a strike. There's a deflection. And that's crucial. Weatherall. Pearson. Weatherall will win it again. Wallace. There is no last day miracle for Middlesbrough. They had to win at Ellen Road. And for all the efforts of Janino, Brian Roberts. Brian Robson's side couldn't do that. They went a goal down to Brian Dean's header. Janino's deflected shot gave them renewed hope. The draw, not enough. And next Saturday's FA Cup finalists will spend next season in Division 1, desperate for all at the club, especially the manager, who brought them up as champions two seasons ago, guided them to two cup finals this season and made such ambitious signings from overseas. This was always going to be a season of transition, in which a new manager sought to impose his style on the team he inherited. So at the end of it, we asked George Graham to look to the future and the sort of Leeds United side he'd like to see. What I want to see here at Leeds uh, is an exciting football, as an exciting team, uh, fast football, loads of goal mouth incident, I can tell you right now, I'm not one for the, the slow build-up, 15, 20 passes, uh, playing keep ball with no end product. When I come away from a game, a football match, I like to be excited. I like to say, geez, there were loads of shots, loads of saves, hopefully some goals. But I want goal mouth incidents. I like attractive football, but I, I, even more than that, I like exciting football and winning football. Well, at this time last year, Howard Wilkinson was telling us that um, after the Coca-Cola Cup defeat, there must be enormous changes at Leeds. Uh, that resulted in, I think, three senior players leaving and four new ones arriving. Mm. Do you plan even more radical changes than that? Uh, yeah, I, I would think there may be even more changes than that this year. Um, the main thing is, is always to get players in and then sort out the situation. Uh, be, in an ideal world, it would be lovely to just sort of like three in, three out, or five in and five out. But uh, I've always been leaving, you've got to believe you've got to acquire players first, get a big squad, and then you can sort out, sort out who's going to be leaving the club. But uh, we must have incoming players first, some new blood, some people who are ambitious. I mean, I love the word desire, and I want to players, players to come to Leeds United. I want them to be proud of Leeds United, to pull on that white shirt. I don't want the people who are on their way down in their career. You know, they've had the, the best days of their career. They're coming to Leeds. I, in my opinion, Leeds are a big club. They're a big club. And we should be taking players on their way down. We should be taking players on their way up. Well, that brings me to the subject of David Hopkin, whom we had the, the pleasure of speaking to after he'd scored that clinching goal at Wembley on Monday. What do you think of him? Yeah, I think he's a good player, and it's no secret uh, we have been interested in him. Uh, we did make an offer for him earlier, midway during the season. Um, but I don't really like to discuss who I'm trying to buy uh, when there are other clubs. I think that's a bit unfair on the player and it's a bit unfair on the, the other club. So, yeah, we had interest, but uh, nothing, nothing came of it.
And is it purely in the striking department that you'll be looking around or throughout the squad? No, I'm, uh, I'm looking in midfield and I'm looking uh, in the forwards department, yeah. Uh, I think it's no secret uh, we need to get people to make goals and we also need people to can score a lot more goals. Uh, if you just look at the, the top teams in the Premiership, you know, all the top teams have got the best forwards in the country. Uh, we've got to get in that league somewhere and we've got to try to join the top six. I mean, my target for next season is definitely going to be trying to qualify for Europe. Uh, that's got, everybody's got to have targets in life. And I would think that would be a steady progress if we could get in that top six. Would you say that you are on target towards your long-term plan at the present time? Uh, well, first, this year, is, as far as I was concerned, was survival, to keep your premiership uh, status. And everybody saw how difficult that was. You know, the last couple of months of the season, there was, I think, eight teams. Uh, and to be fair to us, we were not one of them. Uh, the last couple of months of the season, there were still eight teams involved in the relegation battle and big clubs involved. So I think uh, what priority was uh, of safety, that was achieved probably earlier than I expected because I expected to be getting into the last three or four games of the season still needing points to, to stay up. So we, we achieved that aim. So in that respect, I was happy. But next year, people will expect more and uh, that's what football is about nowadays. Uh, people's expectations are very high and here at a big club like Leeds yeah, the fans expect a lot Do we have the financial backing here to compete with the best? That's a question that you, I, I can't answer uh, Up to now anything I've suggested to the board of directors have been more than uh, uh, accommodating with the money but uh, if we're going to go in for the big buys like, like some clubs have uh, you're asking the wrong person but we can expect some exciting news by August. Yeah, we need some new players and uh, I would think uh, hopefully we're going to have a few new players. We'll definitely need them uh, to improve again the side. Um, we've got some good players here, uh, some honest players, uh, people who are proud to pull on uh, the white shirt of Leeds. Uh, I've always believed in the two previous clubs and I, I believe in passion uh, and I think the fans here, uh, albeit they want to see skillful players, they want to see outstanding players, but they want people to pull on the lead shirt and be proud of it.